Craig Phillips, owner of Quality Water Treatment at qualitywatertreatment.com. Also, no, it is Craig, the water guy. Uh, I want to go over our air filters with you today uh, for your well water application. Uh, Quality Water Treatment has been in business since 1990. Uh, I personally have over 34 year, years experience in the water treatment industry. Uh, and most of my experience is actually well water and surface water applications. Uh, when I first started my business, I worked for another company, a local company where I opened my business at. And uh, over 90% of our applications were private well water or surface water applications. So um, I am extremely experienced in, uh, in treating well water, uh, as well as uh, our family members that also operate the company and also been trained over the years to deal with uh, well water applications as well. Uh, and I've been the one that actually trained them and went over with them and did the jobs with them the whole nine yards. So um, let's go ahead and go over the choices here. We'll, we'll keep it as simple as possible for you. We know what works and what does not work. And uh, so we have uh, basically put all that knowledge into these systems to make sure that you get the best of the best, okay? So um, the first thing is, is that if you don't know how to size your iron filter, you could click on the iron filter sizing calculator, okay? Uh, now the iron filter sizing calculator we put together to help you size the proper iron filter your needs okay iron filters uh, they don't you don't size iron filters like you size a water softener uh, for instance uh, iron filters uh, they will only work if your well pump is able to back wash and lift the media up inside them properly if you get too large of an iron filter and your well pump is not capable of back washing it uh, be it as not capable of giving the gallons per minute needed to lift that bed up the iron filter is not going to work for you very well. It might work for a very short period of time, but then it will stop. So it's very important that you take this first step before you go further as far as purchasing an iron filter, not just from us, but from anybody. So uh, if you follow, if you don't know how many gallons per minute your well pump does, not, not your well, but your well pump, follow these simple instructions right here. And it only take you 15, 20 minutes or so to do this. It's very simple. And if all the instructions and they come back to us, to size the proper system. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and go back uh, to our iron filter page. And the choices you have here is the first iron filter uh, is our AIO, which is air ejection optimization using what we call catalox media. Now catalox uh, it has a, a lot of uh, magnesium dioxide in it. And magnesium dioxide is a very strong oxidizer to iron, sulfur, and manganese. By pairing that with using the air ejector on the side of the control valve, so when the system does a regeneration, it backwashes. It actually draws air in through that side material and creates an air pocket inside the tank. So as you use water, it hits that air first. And that oxidizes the sulfur iron manganese to increase the performance of the catalytic media itself, which also has a strong oxidizing capabilities. This system works very well. It's very low maintenance. It just backwashes with regular water. There is no chemicals involved with this system. So this is highly recommended. We have different sizes here. When you click on the link, um, it will actually take you to that page, which the prices and more information. But as you're looking at it here, uh, each one says how many gallons per minute you need to backwash. Okay, so this one, for instance, uh, it needs a backwash rate of five gallons per minute. The next one needs a backwash rate of seven gallons per minute, and so on. So after you've done the test, you can come back. You say, okay, well I know what I need, and you click on it, and you're ready to go. Okay, uh, media generally lasts anywhere from three years all the way up to 20 plus years. It really depends on how bad your water is and how much water you're actually using, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and go back here uh, to this page. Uh, the next one is just the catalytic filter itself. There's no, no air ejection involved with this one. 
Uh, if your iron is less than 10 parts per million and you don't have any, if you have very little sulfur in the water, you can get away with this system here. But I'll tell you, you know, for the price difference between the two, uh, me personally, I would recommend just go ahead and go with this one here, the one with the air ejection on it, because it, I mean, if your well water changes, it gets worse, you're always covered with this. Uh, that's the way I would recommend that you go. But it's the same idea with this one. You click on it, it'll give you the different sizes, availabilities, as far as what you need to backwash it. It's the same as this one, backwash rigs. Okay. The next size is, the next system is old school. This is the burn filter. Uh, again, you need to size it so to make sure you can backwash it. Okay. Uh, berm is, I mean, has been around for a long time. Uh, it does have some oxidizing uh, capabilities like the Catalox, but not even close to being as good. Uh, maybe three to five parts per million paired with a water softener uh, would be the only way I would use the burn filter. We still offer the burn filter on our website because there's a lot of folks out there that just want to replace their old burn filters with what they had. Um, so that's the reason why it's there. And it is a very minimal price point in comparison. But uh, the effectiveness of a burn filter is not even close to what the catalytic systems will do for you. Okay. Uh, the DEX is very old school. It's a green sand filter. This is the only chemical used iron filter that we have. It uses what we call potassium permanganate, which you buy in a powder. Uh, it goes into this bucket, this uh, five-gallon bucket, and uh, you use basically a cup at a time. And there's water in there with a sponge plate with a float. And that dissolves just a little bit of uh, potassium permanganate, turns the water purple. The green sand media inside here gets coated with that potassium permanganate when the system regenerates. Potassium permanganate is a strong oxidizer to iron, manganese, and sulfur. So it oxidizes the iron, manganese, and sulfur inside the tank as it filters through that green sand so it can remove it. Uh, this is a higher maintenance system, and there is chemicals involved. Again, the only reason we really offer is because some people have these systems still, and they want to replace them with these systems. They're not even close to being as effective as the catalytic systems, and they're high maintenance, and you are using chemicals. Uh, the next system is the old Terminator system. The old Terminator system was introduced years and years and years ago. We've installed a lot of these over the years uh, before the soft pro uh, air ejection came out where you don't have a bunch of tanks and stuff like that. You just have the air ejector on the side. Uh, this system here, uh, what they do is they use a mature. You see this, this small maturity over here, okay? Uh, that it gets installed between your well pump and your pressure tank. So as your well pump turns on, you build a bypass around this with a ball valve. So you fill, you you crank that ball valve down and uh, to create just enough vacuum to draw air into the water as the well pump is running about 10% of the time that the well pump is on. And that water there goes to your pressure tank, comes out and goes through this air precipitation tank where the water sprays into the tank. And then comes out through about halfway down. Here is a tube. It comes up through that tube and oxidizes your iron and manganese. It releases the sulfur through an air release vent at the top of the tank here. Then it runs through your burn media to remove the oxidized iron and sulfur and manganese. Okay. This is again really old school. Uh, it's been around for a very long time. But there is a lot of moving parts and there is a lot of downfalls to this system as far as maintenance goes. And this venturi puts a lot of head pressure up against your well pump. So uh, we don't recommend this system anymore. But again, we carry it for the reasons that uh, some people just want to replace it with what they had. OK, uh, this system here is the burn filter, the same as this burn filter. The difference is that we're using a plug 2510 control valve, which is a more durable control valve, a little bit higher flow rates than the 5600 control valve that we offer on this burn filter. So that's all the iron filters, folks. And uh, Again, uh, going back to sizing it, make sure that you use our sizing calculator here. Do that well pump test before you make the purchase. And then again, uh, if you don't mind spending the extra money, uh, go with the uh, one of the catalog systems, preferably the air injection, because that's going to give you both of their performance. Now, if you're also looking for a water softener or maybe even a pH neutralizer to raise your pH, you want to... Uh, a package type deal, uh, go to our well water systems here and click on residential water softeners. Okay. And uh, what you're going to find here 
is you're going to find different packages. So like on our soft pro systems here, uh, when you click on that, uh, that is going to take you to the, the soft pro page for well water systems. And this is going to not just give you uh, the softer choices for well water uh, with a lot of information on there. But it's also going to give you choices of packages. Uh, for instance, if you just have some sulfur in the water and have hard water, you can go with a well water system uh, here that offer also offers a KDF filter inside here. KDF uh, helps remove iron. It removes up to two parts per million of sulfur and it's bacteria static rule. So it will not let bacteria such as iron bacteria grow within your resin bed. So that's that system there. Uh, there we have the well and pH booster, which is a calcite filter to raise the pH up to 7.0 so the water doesn't uh, eat up your plumbing, and then you run it through your water softener. Uh, the next package is the well and pro, which is basically the Cadillac's iron filter using the air injection on the side and a softener paired with it. Uh, and then we have the well ultimate, which is all three systems. So if you have really bad water, you have a low pH, you have a high iron, you have some sulfur, maybe some manganese and uh, you just want to get it all done then you need to run it through the calcite filter first to raise the ph run it through your catalogs air injection type system to remove iron manganese and sulfur and then run it through your software and you're set and ready to go so i hope that helps you folks out if you have any questions please give us a call at 866-278-4130 or use our contact page and send us an email it also includes your water test results if you have them uh, or you can send us a message uh, online and uh, chat with one of our representatives. Thank you very much and have a great day.